This is a Wildlings teaser video on what's new in Content Manager Full Client 9.4. Content Manager's latest release, MicroFocus Content Manager 9.4, has improved functionality, new features and enhancements. This quick video provides a brief overview of changes that impact on records managers and end users. The only changes to the appearance of Content Manager 9.4 is the change of icon for the Quick Select button. System options and option screens now display what were the tabs down the side of the screen, and a search field has been added to make it easier to locate items on the pages. The new dashboard window displays a user's predefined work item list with a breakdown of the items that are overdue and by how many days within a set time period, and a total number of items for each work item list. Users can double click on the displayed number under the time period column to quickly access the items associated with that work item in that time frame and Content Manager will open the items in a new search results window. From there, a user can update or action the items as required. This feature can be enabled or disabled via the user dashboard option in the system options features page. The dashboard option is located on the home ribbon and can also be set as a startup window via a user's options. This can be enabled on the startup page on the file menu. The new explorer window gives users a logical view of records grouped within Content Manager item types in a single window. This allows users to browse the main objects and display the records attached to that object. The explorer option is located on the home ribbon and can also be set as a startup window via user options startup page. The items displayed can be customized by the user or set as a global setting by an administrator. Administrators have the option to create up to 10 custom user types, in addition to the six standard user types already available. This allows organizations to apply specific user permissions to a user type to better suit their business requirements. The custom user types are associated to locations in the same way the standard user types are used via the Location Properties Profile tab. To create a custom user type, a base standard user type is selected and then the required permissions are enabled or disabled as required. This is done in the System Options on the User Type page. End users can send a record or multiple records that they may have created in error or are no longer required as a part of normal administration practices to the Content Manager Recycle Bin. From there, an administrator can review and either delete or restore the records. To enable this feature, the Record Recycle Bin feature must be enabled in the System Options Features page. Only users with the Recycle Records permission will be able to utilize this function. To use the Recycle Bin function, users select the records to be deleted. Right click and select Send To, then Recycle Bin. As part of the process, the user must select a reason for recycling the records. There are currently five reasons, but an administrator can add additional reasons using the caption editor if required. Once the records have been sent to the recycle bin, they will no longer appear in any search results. Records that have been recycled can be accessed via the search tab, Records, Recycle Bin option. Records that have been recycled cannot be modified. Records can only be removed from the recycle bin by the user who created the record or if a user has the required user permissions. Records can be deleted from the Recycle Bin and Content Manager by users who have the Delete Records permissions. It can also be set up as an automated process by defining a timeframe on the System Options Records page. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Wildlinks.